right and we are on again good morning guys and today still on the topic on, on the theme of technology we will be looking at unit 7e for this morning all right our theme for today is technology moving on to unit 7e if you can open your books and our title for today is high tech crime now if we look at the title what's the first thing that comes to mind if you think about high tech crime um, these are usually crimes that are performed not in the old-fashioned way that we know but these are your digital crimes that are performed usually by the works of a computer or some sort of advanced technology all right, you guys are familiar with your cell phones and laptops and want some of the amazing things that we can do with our cell phones and with our laptops as well. And this is what this topic is all about. So we can have a look at this. And enjoy our first slide. All right, on the first slide, we have our title, High Tech Crimes and we have our subtitle which is talking about crime all right so check the words or phrases in bold in the word list now our word for today is hackers what are hackers well these are the people that can access your information but they can only do so over a um, wi-fi network or they do need internet to do, to do some of these amazing things. Um, we know that our lives are controlled nowadays with information technology, with computers and with all of that. So if we look at our first word, it is a hacker. So what is a hacker? Well, hackers are usually, usually bad. We get three types of hackers, if I can put it you that way those are your black hackers your gray hackers and your white hackers um, i think your white hat hackers they are the most safest because they do not cause any harm the ones that you need to be uh, fearful of is your black and your gray hat hackers now i speak under correction however there's different categories of hackers that we get and once again a hacker is someone that gains access to your information and uses it for their advantage or for their pleasure or to create wealth for themselves using your information all right that's why we see that banks that's and even ourselves we have passwords and usually these hackers have ways and means to get past these passwords and enter our information to gain control all right first word hacker what does it mean uh, break into computer systems right when we talk about computer systems we are talking merely about the programs that run the systems for example um, your files your systems all of your apps they have the power to get into these uh, devices and apps and then they can control and steal the information right what else can they do they can release viruses to destroy systems when we talk about viruses we talk about um, things that can harm and even uh, delete some of the information that you have on your computer so you click for example you open a word document or a powerpoint document on your pc and then you find out that this document has a virus it multiplies itself and now you need to take your PC in because you cannot use your PC anymore. Same as with your cell phone, they have the ability to send viruses to destroy information. Right, and then the last one, to access personal information such as passwords, credit card details, and the works. All right, so these people have access to information on your behalf without your permission all right so if we look at the word list to break into means to enter by force so they do not have permission and they do enter your system uh, illegally if I can put it to you that way secondly 
to release means to set free so they release the viruses and that simply means is what they can do is they send you a file you open the file the file corrupts your PC you cannot use your PC anymore now you need to send it into a computer engineer to have the problem fixed all right and then our word hacker someone who tries to break into a computer system all right and then the next one access means to have the right to use obviously these hackers do not have the right to use your information at all right moving on to our next slide look at the scrambled newspaper headlines we have a and b and say what you think they are about okay government break hacker system into computer and that does not sound right because the words are scrambled and i think the correct word hackers break into computers into government computer system all right and the next one code steal bank security thieves and if we scramble that word thieves break and steal security codes all right and there's the answers a is hacking into government computers and then b is about stealing bank information all right let's move on to our next slide okay this thief steal bank security codes and hackers break into government computer system if we unscramble the words and then that is what we are left with all right moving on to our next slide listen and repeat say these sentences in your language now we have a couple of sentences that you obviously cannot say in your language and practice because we are not in the classroom environment let's look at some of the words what happened anything interesting really that's scary you can say that again they must have planned it for a long time and that's true now obviously as i will repeat myself we cannot say this in our own language because we are not or rather i am not uh, near you and to practice it what you can do however you can call your friend or you guys can even send vo voice notes and exchange the information in vietnamese this is just to sharpen your skills and to have a little bit of practice all right moving on to our next slide okay here we have a reading passage listen and read the dialogue obviously this is a dialogue because it is between two people who is the two people involved in our dialogue that is alice and peter all right so i will play the audio and you guys can listen did you see the news last night no why what happened anything interesting there was a story about hackers breaking into the government computer system really that's scary you can say that again well they must be professionals it's not easy to commit a crime like that. Yes, they must have planned it for a long time. It seems that crime is becoming more high-tech these days. That's true. Let's just hope the police can be one step ahead and catch them. All right, so now we see that we have a dialogue between Alice and Peter and what is the dialogue all about what are they talking about the story is about hackers breaking into the government computer system and obviously they have to be professionals to do and perform this act because not everyone has access to break into a government computer system and by law that is a crime all right obviously we see in the dialogue that it was planned for a long time and as the title suggests this falls under high-tech crimes and it is punishable as well 
Right, moving on to our next slide. Okay, which newspaper headline does the dialogue match? Then read it aloud in pairs. So hackers break into government computer system. Okay, and here we see the headline and thieves steal security bank codes. Obviously they committed a crime and that is A. Okay, hackers break into government security system and that one clearly suggests that the topic or the discussion of the uh, dialogue matches the headline in A. Alright, moving on to our next slide. Find sentences or phrases in the dialogue which means, and that means which is similar to, I agree with you completely. Alright, almost like finding synonyms. What's another way of saying I agree with you completely? Now if we look at our text, we can see that the answer is you can say that again. Okay, that is the same as saying I agree with you completely. Alright, the next one, I can't believe it. And it simply means find words or phrases in the dialogue which means uh, I can't believe it and that is the same as saying really all right next one yes it does find a word words or phrase that means the same as yes it does and we can see that that's true means the same as what we've just discussed all right that is slide five I think we can move on to our next slide Okay, obviously you guys cannot do this activity because you do not have someone with you but as I have suggested all along you guys can phone someone and you guys can practice this just as a means of sharpening your skills let's see what it says now in pairs act out a similar dialogue for the other headline what was the other headline thief steals bank security code so use the phrase below and the dialogue on the right to help you and record yourselves. This is just an activity for you to practice. This is just an activity for you guys to sharpen your skills. Obviously, I'm not there to see what you guys do. But if you want to, you can practice amongst yourselves. All right. Moving on to our next slide. Okay. Intonation and we talk about word stress now word stress and intonation where does my voice go up and where does my voice stay the same all right so if we look at the intonation for number seven listen and find the stressed words listen again and repeat what i'm going to do is i'm going to play the audio first and then we are going to go through the intonation and you guys can tell me where do you hear the speaker's voice go up on which word all right first one oh no i can't believe it all right and where do you think the voice goes up and that is oh no i can believe it all right if you guys guessed it right you are on the good you are on the right path if you guys did not get it right uh, it's still okay that's a lot of practice that you can do number two you can say that again all right so where that you hear the voice or the word go up and the next one is that all right moving on to our next one. Oh my goodness okay and the intonation or the word stress are on the words oh and goodness moving on to the next one what are you talking about all right and the word stress are on talking and then finally the last one anything interesting and the word stress is on interesting 
All right, that concludes our lesson for this part. We can move on to our workbook on 7E. And you guys can open your workbook. All right, moving along. We are on workbook 7E, as you can see. And we can go through our questions and answers. As I always encourage you guys to do the workbook beforehand and then we can check the answers together and at the end we can have the completed answer sheet right going through everyday english for number one complete the blanks in the dialogue one sentence is not needed all right so we have one two three four five and we have one two three four five six so one of these are not needed our words to fill in are really, that's scary, what happened, that's true, it is, they must have planned it for a long time. Right, so moving along, we see a dialogue of two people talking, Paul and Sarah. Paul asks the question, did you watch the news last night? Sarah's response, no, why? And the correct answer is, what happened paul replies well they found the hackers who were stealing people's credit card details whereby sarah responds really did they say who they were so the correct answer is really moving on the only thing they said is that they were three high school students and that they had a whole network set up in their bedrooms All right teenagers did that was Sarah's response and the answer is that's scary All right and Paul asked the question it is times have really changed and the answer that's true All right that's our everyday English for number one moving on to the next part right replace the underlined words with phrases from the list we have our list of words i couldn't agree more on that i don't believe it you can say that again and they must have so we need to replace the underlined words you guys can pause the video as i've said and do this example first before we do it together so let's see what our word is oh no that this can't be true is the same as i don't believe it moving on to number two while well, that's scary and the correct response is i couldn't agree more on that or you can say that again if you guys have both of these answers or one of these that also counts moving on I'm sure they had planned it and the correct response is they must have planned it right moving on to number four it's frightening it is and the correct answer to that is you can say that again or I couldn't agree more on that if you had these two answers for number four then both would have sufficed all right listening teacher will play the listening part and then we will go through the answers together all right we can start with the listening unit 7e exercise 3 page 55 Welcome back to Community Corner on Seattle Galaxy Radio. And with us today is police officer Susan James, who is going to talk to us about credit card fraud. Hello, Susan, and welcome. Hello, John. Susan, what are the current statistics for credit card fraud? Well, credit card fraud has increased in recent years. Recent statistics have shown that the largest type of card fraud in the U.S in the period between 2004 to 2008 has been the so-called card not present fraud. What is card not present fraud? 
Card not present fraud is the theft of stolen credit card details for illegal purchases. How can we protect ourselves against card not present fraud? It is important to keep our cards safe and in sight at all times. We should also get rid of our receipts carefully. The safest way to do that is by either shredding or ripping them up. Card thieves usually obtain credit card details by finding receipts in trash cans or by skimming. It is also very important to check our bank statements regularly for any unfamiliar transactions. Could you explain to us in more detail what skimming is? Skimming is the use of a machine, known as the credit card reader, to copy people's credit card details. Card fraudsters install these credit card readers in cash machines. Which brings me to the issue of safety when using a cash machine. It is important to hide the keypad with your spare hand and make sure that no one is trying to watch you enter your PIN. Susan, one last question for you. What are the dangers of using your credit card online? Well, these days, it is rare for computer hackers to obtain credit card details over the Internet. Nevertheless, it does happen, so it is important to make sure that you only shop at secure websites and that you have installed antivirus software and a firewall in your computer. Also, last but not least, never answer spam emails asking you to disclose personal information. That was very useful, Susan. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, John. It's been a pleasure. That was police officer Susan James. And after the break, we'll be talking to a man that has a cat. All right, and that's the listening audio, so now we can fill in our answers. All right, so we see you will hear a voice, a radio interview. For each question, put a check in the correct box. So what is Susan's job? And we see the correct answer is B, police officer. Right, number two. What must we do to protect ourselves against card not present fraud? And the correct answer is C. Keep our card safe and in sight. Number three. What is skimming? Using a credit card reader. And the correct answer is A. And number four. What's the best way to avoid credit card fraud online? And the correct answer is A, use secure websites. All right, moving on to our dictation. I will play the dictation and then afterwards you fill in. And then when we are finished, you can check your answers against the answer sheet provided. All right, and playing our dictation. Exercise 4, page 55. Dictation. CD sales are suffering as more and more people prefer to download their favorite songs from the internet without paying. Many sites do not pay musicians for the songs, but paying to download from legal sites makes sure both musicians and fans can benefit. Listen and write. CD sales. Are suffering as more and more people prefer to download their favorite songs from the internet without paying Many sites
Do not pay musicians. for the songs. But paying to download from legal sites Make sure both musicians and fans can benefit listen and check CD sales are suffering as more and more people prefer to download their favorite songs from the internet without paying many sites do not pay musicians for the songs but paying to download from legal sites makes sure both musicians and fans can benefit All right, and that's our dictation. And as we move on, all right, and this is our answer. You guys can have a look at it. And when you are done, just compare your answers with what we just did. Um, this is just a way for you guys to uh, help you and see you with on the next video. And goodbye.